okay so we will be creating a tracker uh, which can help us uh, track the levels of different stocks uh, because every day the stocks are either moving up or down and tracking n number of stocks definitely it's a task so we'll try to automate uh, with a very very basic tracker here so i have opened a google sheet so what i'll do is uh, I'll go to NSC site and download Bhav Copy. Bhav Copy is basically uh, the details of stocks, right? Uh, the prices of that. So how did I come to this link? Is simply you search Bhav Copy NSC and open the first link. So I select Bhav Copy. I download today's data, right? Get data. Okay. So this is the file. open okay i don't have the extractor unzip online unzip click to choose okay this is the file open it Okay, so this is the Bhav copy. What we will do, we'll quickly apply filter here. In the series, we will sort only the EQ, equity part. And uh, copy all the symbols in the first column. And take it to tracker sheet, right? So I'll just paste it here. So we have around one, six, six, seven stocks and uh, uh, so we will be pulling uh, uh, latest trading prices of these stocks from Google Finance uh, so to do that we need to uh, convert the symbols into a format wherein the Google Finance can pick right uh, so basically what we need to do is we need to add NSC in front of these symbols so that the Google Finance can uh, understand that this is from NSC and these are the symbols. So let's do that. Um, Google Fin symbol. But this font looks nice. Calibri. Calibri. Okay. So uh, let's do concatenate. So why we are doing concatenate is basically we cannot write NSC uh, 20 microns and again NSC this 21st then MGM. It will take a lot of time. So we will just do concatenate. Concatenate. Basically concatenate adds the strings, right? So NSC and the symbol so photo fill so see all the symbols are now recognizable by the google finance so let's find the ltp to find the ltp we just need to write google finance formula google finance uh, this is the ticker and price Okay, 62.1. We copy it for all stocks. So, see, we have prices for latest trading prices for all the stocks now. And uh, we need to uh, have an indicator uh, or maybe like a field which we can compare. Basically, I want to know. So this can be high or low. I'll tell you in short while what is this about. And this is the price. So I want to know when this particular stock goes above 70. Right. So 70 can be a particular resistance level. Which uh, the stock is facing. And 
if the stock breaks that resistance level and tries to go up i would be very interested to buy so what i'll do is i'll write 70 here and uh, uh, i want ki iske upar jab jayega high then give me an alert so alert ka yahan pe column banata right oh central align karta hai so that it looks nice okay so uh, i want this alert when the stock goes above 70 that's what i want to do so what i'll do i have written a quick formula here right uh, don't get scared by the formula is very easy i'll tell you what it is right what of oh. so uh, i'll take another case okay let's stick to this for now okay so what it tells is if this is high so basically if d2 is high that means i am interested if if the last trading price is higher than uh, the price indicator which i have set it here so maybe like i can put this as a reference a ref price so that we don't confuse okay so basically uh, d2 is equal to high okay i am interested when this is high uh, i want to know when uh, the ltp goes higher than reference price okay so if c2 is greater than e2 c2 is greater than e2 means the ltp is greater than reference price then give me output as one otherwise keep it blank right so this is the first formula and if uh, this is not equal to high and uh, i'm interested in opposite scenario uh, when i want to know if the um, ltp is lower than this particular price basically i want to know if the stock is going down than a certain price maybe uh, it can be a value buy or uh, it might be approaching a strong support where i might be interested in buying so this is the second case right so if uh, d2 is equal to l i mean if this high low is equal to l and c2 is less than e2 that means the ltp is less than e2 then give me one signal here otherwise don't do anything or maybe i can have high signal i think that would be better and this can be low signal instead of just having uh, you know one or one and one okay l okay so uh, let's see okay if i set this price to 60 then here it should give me alert as high okay i'll put 60 see it's high now right if i put uh, more than 62 i put 64 it should give me blank see it's blank okay similarly let's test with the low so it should give me low now because uh, the current trading price is less than the reference price it is giving me low alert okay so this is how it will work let's copy this formula for the entire sheet i hope it is being copied i don't know this is very sad way to do this but i'm just checking all right okay i'll put a filter here i like filters okay so our sheet is ready now so uh, it works everywhere suppose uh, this stock right abb i'm interested to buy when this stock breaks the resistance of 2300 it would be very bullish so i would put high and i would uh, put 2300 here right then once this stock goes about this this is a ltp right this will automatically be updated whenever uh, the price changes live market so when this goes about this it will give me high so this sheet can be used for swing trading uh, we can observe this prices in the evening of course this is not for the intraday because google finance price might not be um, live ones i think those are delayed so we can use this 
so that's about this tracker so over the period of time uh, you know like uh, we keep observing the charts every day and uh, we can fill high low the reference prices as per the resistance support or you know uh, the ascending triangle descending triangle di diagrams and we can have certain reference prices whenever we are interested in buying those particular stocks so this is a good tracker instead of you know uh, keeping track of n number of uh, stocks chart sorry so whenever uh, you get a indicator here uh, so uh, what we have to do is just go there and um, see that particular chart okay so that's about it so we will keep modifying this tracker of course this is a very basic version of it as we move forward so yep thanks for watching and i hope you guys implement this tracker thank you bye